Hello everyone, como ye and how you doing? This is going to be my second Girl Tech video and today I'm going to be showing you how to synchronize your audio with your video. For those of you who already have DSLR cameras such as myself, then you already have a built-in mic. But if you're using that audio for your video, it's not going to give you a clear concentrated sound of your voice if that makes sense so what i like to do is use a separate audio source and then i can just synchronize the audio later on in post-production this is what i use from time to time when i want to record my voice or voiceovers or whatever but for some reason this hasn't been working well so i've just been using the next best thing and that is my phone. This is the iPhone 4S and yes, I am super late to the party with getting a new phone. I know, but don't worry, soon come I will be upgrading real soon. I'm using this to record my voice and you can actually tell because I'm moving the phone around and you can probably hear different pitches, different tones of my voice, right? I'm sure you can hear the police sirens, which seem to pop up every five damn minutes. So in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you and showing you step by step how to properly sync your audio to the video footage that you're filming. For one, what I like to do is press record on the camera at the same time that I'm pressing record on my voice recorder. Maybe, maybe it doesn't help or hurt but I, I just like doing it because I kind of feel like it gives the editing software less work to do in post. Once I'm done recording I would stop the recording on the camera as well as stop the recording on the phone. Once that's done I actually send myself a text message of the audio footage to myself because since I have a Mac it like synchronizes so Wherever I'm sending a text to, it'll send it automatically through there too, and I'll receive it. And I'm gonna send this audio footage to myself, and then we can get started on the next step, okay? So, let's go. So here I am in front of my desktop. I have stored my files on to the desktop and made sure that they were in a, a separate file. So I can keep everything together, right? And then once that's done, I'm actually going to open up Final Cut and then we're gonna start from there. So let's open up Final Cut, which I have open right here. I'm actually going to create a new event because this is going to be a new video. I'm going to title it Girl Tech 2, right? Once I have Girl Tech 2 here, I'm just going to open that up and then I'm gonna click on this arrow. And by the way, I only use Final Cut. I don't know how iMovie works, so unfortunately I won't be able to be knowledgeable in that. If ever you need help with that, you can definitely search on YouTube. I'm sure they have tons of video on it. But right now, I'm gonna go to my desktop and then just add all of the footage. First off, I have to figure out which video file works for each audio file. So I just basically look at the time difference on each and if the times are similar, then I'll synchronize that way. But let me see here. Uh, this is about three minutes. This is about five minutes and 40 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to be syncing this file with new recording too. Now how I do that is I click on the video file, I hold and press command, make sure to keep it held down, and then I click on new recording so that both of these are highlighted. Once that's highlighted, I back click on my mouse and by this point you can let go of the command button back click on the mouse and then synchronize clips. I'm just going to title this clip one. So this is the file with the audio recording and the video file. This also includes the audio from the camera mic. So what I do to cancel out the camera mic audio is I 
put the file on the timeline. I back click. Once I back click, I go to expand audio components. Once I'm here at expand audio components, you see there are two different audio files. I'm only gonna be muting out MVI 4697 because that's from the camera mic. So let me just block it out. And to block it out, you would just press the letter V on your keyboard and it's blocked out. Now I'm gonna show you how the video looks with the audio that we took from the phone. Hello everyone, como ye and how you doing? So this is going to be my second Girl Tech video. Now I'm gonna let you listen to the audio from the built-in mic so that you can tell the difference. Hello everyone, como ye and how you doing? So this is going to be my second Girl Tech video and today I'm there is a huge difference in the sound situation. Using my phone to record audio makes life so much better. It just gives you a cleaner, richer sound and I do this every single time. And I highly recommend it that you do it too because it works so well and if you want you can actually do voiceovers using your phone and then just add it on later on in post all right everyone i really hope you enjoyed this video and found this informative if you did please give me a big thumbs up that way i know these are the types of videos you want to see from me if you want me to do another sort of girl tech topic please let me know in the comments section because i am taking your requests feel free to share this video of course because sharing is caring okay girl all car. Remember to subscribe because I make videos every single week and I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Ow! <laughs>